All right, guys, welcome to Lilybrook, the short game area. This is the first video I'm going to do in what I will call the road to Thailand. I'm hoping to get out there beginning of May for three, uh, beginning of May, beginning of March for three weeks. Um, it doesn't look too good at the moment, but you know, things can improve. Now, there's a huge difference between Thailand and here. Here, the ground is. Uh, it's clay, so it's hard, and we've got English type of grass. So I tend to play a back foot shot. You'll see most of my chipping, chip and running, is a back foot shot. Now in Thailand, you can't necessarily do that. You've got different grasses. You've got grain on the green. You know, you try a chip and run in Thailand and you get the, you read the grain wrong and it either stops 20 feet short or it's hammering 20 feet past. So you've got to throw the ball onto the green as opposed to chipping and running it through the rough and onto the green or, or across the apron and onto the green. The other thing is the soil is different. It's very sandy and with the kind of like tropical downpours you get out there, it can be exceptionally soggy. So when you go and play your shot, the ground just collapses underneath the leading edge of the club and you, you duff it. So I've got to learn how to play my pitching shots for Thailand here. So uh, what I've got is a tube of balls. Now this is my grade of golf ball and I think it's important. You know, if you play a two-piece distance ball, then practice with a two-piece distance ball, not a Pro V1. If you play a premium urethane quality golf ball, then practice with a premium urethane quality golf ball. Then you get the correct feel. Now, if I'm chipping, I'm quite often back foot or even behind my back foot, so for Thailand for pitching, I've got to widen my stance and I've got to move the ball forwards. So it's a completely different and alien action to what I'm used to. Now I've just had my first golf lesson because um, I need to sharpen up everything really. The way I would describe my golf swing at the moment is I've got to watch out because I'm by the third tee here and I'm going to have to shut up. The way I describe my golf swing at the moment is sloppy. It's the guy driving down the Pacific Coast Highway with his elbow on the door, one hand on the wheel, and then when a sharp bend comes up, he crashes. And that's, my, that's the way I'm playing golf. So I'm going to get set up here and uh, we'll get cracking, but first I must shut up because there's people on, coming onto the tee. So I've given myself a shot here. It is 15 yards to the front edge of the practice green. I've put two tee pegs in the ground. This is more or less going to be my stance. I want a fuller stance. Perhaps that's a little too much. Let's move that back one. And I've put a tee peg in here, which is well forward of where I would normally play my chips and runs from. And this is what I want to do, is to get the ball forward and play it forwards. Hands are just fractionally in front of the ball rather than the usual well pushed in front of the ball. I'm just going to swing. That was a bit chunky. But this is what I've got to do, not just for Thailand, but for here really, is to start learning to throw the ball a little higher. Now you'll notice I'm giving myself a good lie. Well, what's the point of giving myself a bad lie? See that? Ball was creeping back again. That's a little short. See, the reason I give myself a good lie is if you were learning to ride a horse, they wouldn't put you at a five bar gate in front of you for your first ride, would they? So if I'm learning to pitch and throw the ball in the air, 
why would I put a five bar gate in front of me? Why would I give myself a bad lie? I'm going to give myself a good lie. I feel more confident. You see that ball's creeping back. See, I feel more confident that I can hit it better and get the elevation, the height I want. That was sweet. With a good lie. So, you know, I've now created a divot. Is there any point in me putting my ball in there and practicing out of a divot? Not in the slightest. The other reason I need to practice this is my swing has got a little long and a little slow when what I want to do with my pitching is to make it, make it shorter and brisker and impart some spin on the ball. Yeah, that's nice. Let me spin you around a bit. Let you see where I'm going. Now I really need to practice. I need to practice 40 yarders. So throwing it the full length of this practice green. But let's start small. Why, why, why go straight for the difficult shot? Let's start small. Now I know that this practice green will not react like a proper green, especially as I'm coming from this fluffy lie. Ooh, wasp right in my face. But I'm just practicing the stroke really. Not going that high. Yeah, this. This area is getting a little bit rough with me chewing it up. So as I say, I'm stood a little wider. The ball's more forward. There we go. Nice and high. Short swing, a little brisker, bit of height. That's what I need for Thailand, and that's what I need to do around here. You'll have noticed in my videos that uh, when I got a 30 yard a shot like this, so it's about 15 to the edge of the green and 15 up to that, uh, up to that flag there, so maybe 30 yards. So I've been playing the pitching wedge bumble along the floor kind of shot. Now I'm just going to move the ball back a fraction just to get a slightly cleaner strike on it. And there we go. I'm not too worried about the yardage, whether I'm getting it exactly to that little flag up there. Oh, that's nice. You see how that shorter, brisker shot and having the ball forward is throwing the ball in the air. Right, so I'll, I'll stop the video here because the next group is going to be up to the third tee in a moment. I'll hit the rest of these balls, then we'll go into the 40 yarder. See, it, I don't know if you can tell, but this, this green is two tiered. Now I want to start throwing it onto the back tier of say 40, 45 yards. Right then, I'm back. Now I've done 60 of those. Um, I measured it out, it was actually 32 yards. So I was throwing the ball maybe about 27 yards and obviously there's going to be a bounce and a bit of a run out. Now I know those 60 balls, I only had one duff. Distance control wasn't very good. You know, some were short, some were a bit long, some were a little left and what have you. But all I was really interested in was the contact at the golf ball. Now at 30 yards, it's basically a long putting stroke like lagging a 75 footer you know but you've just got a a different implement in your hand i've come out of 45 yards now so this is more difficult because this is now a small golf swing 
And as you know, I've got this long golf swing and the left arm collapses and that's why my pitching is poor. What I need is something shorter and brisker. And I'm getting to the point now where I, I'm going to be breaking my wrist for a 45 yarder. So, uh, wish me luck. Now I'm not using the tee pegs this time. Still got a fluffy lie. All right, this isn't sort of like fairway length grass. There isn't any, but uh, the ball's still going to be middle of the stands. I'm, I'm not pushing my weight forward. I'm not pushing my hands forward. Can you imagine spending an hour practicing with your weight forward and your hands forward? You go onto the first tee with the driver like this and you wonder why you're hitting a bad shot. You know, the best advice I ever got with the short game was keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. Weight evenly distributed. Don't do anything stupid with your hands, pushing them forward, weight forward. Just swing the club. Now I might not get the distance control right straight away, but we will try. 45. And that was atrocious. Not entirely sure what I did there. Good job I got a camera to record it then, isn't it? So come on. You can see now why I play this long sort of chip and run shit. It's because I struggle with these, right. There we go, up in the air, on the green, about four or five feet past. It's actually harder to do on this. I, I would much rather this was cut down a bit tighter, but there you go, you can't have everything. A bit long and a tiny bit left. So this is where it gets difficult for me personally, is this mini golf swing as opposed to a long chip and run. Oh, that's nice. Go, I almost pitched that one in the hole. Which means I hit it too far, because obviously I don't want to pitch it in the hole. I want to pitch it four yards short of the hole. But what I'm interested in is learning this ball position, this contact, and uh, shut up, Simon, you might hit a decent shot. It's actually finished about pin high, but it was, it was really skanky. This grass isn't particularly nice. So I'm going to do 60 of these. That's come out a bit lower. Obviously my ball position is creeping back. Yeah, I, I don't like this grass, it's, it's not very nice. Push the ball forward again. Short and brisk. See, that's better. See, you go short and brisk, you get that height. And that's, uh, it's about five or six feet away. Right, so that's the first 20 done. Now I actually want to see what I'm doing down the line, so I am going to set up here. Yeah, I don't like this grass at all. Just wanting to sit in it. So let me get my line. Yeah, I want to see what I'm doing down the line. I say this is the hard yardage for me because we've gone from that sort of like long exaggerated putting stroke to a short golf swing. Tug that left. You wouldn't want me as a foursomes partner if I'm going to be doing that. 
down the shaft a bit. That'll stop quick. Matt's given a short game lesson at the far end of the green. Perhaps I ought to get him down here and give me a lesson. See, they're not bad. They're sort of like between 8 and 12 feet away, some of them 15 feet away. You know, if this was my third shot on a par 5, would I worry about being 12 feet away? Nope. Yeah, that's another one that's gone left. Never mind. When I look back at the video, it might tell me what I'm doing. Always worth checking to see where you're pointing. See, I'm not wearing a glove for these. Up, up on these sort of like shorter shots, I don't bother with a golf glove. I just want to feel the... That's better. It's short, but it's better. There, there was a... The, the arms and legs and bits and pieces seem to work a little more together there. See, when I hit them left and long, then they've got out of sync and the club head overtakes the hand and shuts. Yeah, that's much too high. I've only hit that just onto the front of the green. That would have been good for a 30 yard, ever not so good for a 45. Might have sat it up a bit too much on this grass. Yeah, I've hit that one 50. Yeah, that was, that was too long and too much acceleration. One of the things you can do when you're pitching is to play with it. Why not open the face of a 9-iron and try it with that? Move the ball forwards, move the ball back. The more you play with it, the better you'll get at it, you know. You know one day you're going to have this 45 yards in the March medal into a three club wind. You might be thinking, oh, if I hit the sandwich, it might get a bit floaty and come up short. What if I try this shot with a 9 iron? Move the ball forward, take your 9 iron. Make sure the face doesn't close. Oh, that's disgusting. Long left. See, that's my bad one. That is my bad shot. Some of it might be this god awful grass, I don't know. But then in Thailand, you're going to have that grass that you can't pronounce. You're going to have Bermuda. You're going to have soggy ground. Soil that just breaks away. High and short. See, I haven't got the distance control with this yet. And I won't for a while. This, this is going to be a weekly routine. If I'm going to sharpen my game up, and start shooting low scores again. I got to do this a lot. Uh, what part of the? F yeah, I'm hitting it a bit high on the face. That's why it's not going. Right, short and brisk. Come on, Simon. Well, it was good for a while and then it just ran out, which is what it's going to do on this green. I try, I'd love some of that. I would love a practice ground that looks like what the pros play off, rather than this. Anyway, can't have everything, I suppose.
Oh, that's better. Still a fraction left, you know, six feet left. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm dying. So when I get up to 60 yards, if I was to throw it, wanted to throw it all the way to the back, then I've got a golf swing, but this is sort of like halfway between a golf swing and not a golf swing, if you see. That's long and left. Right, so that is my first session done. That was 120 balls. 60 at 30 yards, 60 at 45. Now, I'm okay from 30 yards because it's kind of like a long lag putt type of swing. 60 yards is sort of like a almost a full shot, but not quite a full shot, so I'm okay at that. The 45 or 50 in the middle, that's difficult. Um, not helped too much by the grass. I'll, I'll have to move around this green and see if I can find a better position. That wasn't very good. Right, so the next job is to go to the range and I'm gonna have 120 balls on the range and have a go at the long game. I could stay here all day, I love this, but time's pressing. See you at the range.